Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back and this is lecture number 60, we will be talking about uh, Cauchy Euler equations. So we will first introduce what are the Cauchy Euler equations and then uh, their solution techniques. So here the Cauchy Euler equations are uh, the equations with a non a constant coefficients. So, so far we have learnt the linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So, this is one kind of uh, special kind of uh, equation with uh, non constant coefficients. So, like here we see this x power n is coming and then x power n minus 1 is coming with n minus 1 and derivative and so on. So, here we will consider this equation which has these non constant coefficients. So, this a 1 a 2 a n they are constant, but together with them we have this x power n x power n minus 1 and x power n minus 2 uh, and so on. So, we will uh, today look into that how to solve such equations when we have non constants uh, in as the coefficients of these uh, derivative terms. So, denoting this uh, derivative here the nth derivative as this operator d which usually we do. So, we can write down this equation in this form x power n d n and then uh, a 1 x uh, power n minus 1 and this uh, operator d n minus 1 uh, operated on this y is equal to x. So, now this uh, Cauchy Euler equation now how to solve that what we will do we will choose this x or we will substitute this x to e power z. So, this independent variable z uh, x in the given equation will be replaced by will be substituted by the independent variable z by this relation x is equal to e power z. That is a trick and what this trick will do finally, it will convert the given differential equation into the linear equation with constant coefficient. So, that is the idea behind this substitution. So, once we do this one or we can rewrite this as uh, z is equal to ln x and that gives us that uh, dz over dx because that will be required when we substitute all these derivatives terms in the form of z. So, this dz over dx will be 1 over x. So, that is the one derivative which is required now to change the dy or dx to the dy dz form. So, now the first change here because we need to get all these uh, derivative terms change into the the z form. So, this d y d x by this uh, chain rule. So, we have d y over d z and d z over d x. So, d y over d z we uh, would like to have now in the equation and d z over d x is 1 over x. So, we can replace this d z over d x by 1 over x. So, we have this one here 1 over x d y over d z which we can write down if we multiply this x. Uh, to the whole equation. So, what we are getting that x times d y over d x is equal to d y over d z and that is precisely the point here because in our equation the order of the derivative here that is n minus 1 th order derivative then we have x power n minus 1 term here when the n th order derivative we have x power n term. So, here with the first order derivative uh, x and the first order derivative is nothing but the first order derivative of this y with respect to z. So, if we denote here this d as d over d x this differential operator, then what will happen that this x into the d here x into d will be replaced by uh, the, the second uh, first let me introduce this d 1 here which is the operator d over d z. So, having these two operator the notations here d 1 will be used for d over d z and d the standard notation which we are using from earlier lectures as well that is d over d x. So, in that case this x into the d over d x because this equation suggests now what we have in terms of this x d operated on y is equal to 
d 1 operated on y. So, from this equation we realize that this x t operator is equivalent to the d 1 operator which is written here that x d is equivalent to this d 1. So, whether we operate x t or we operate uh, d 1 uh, both are the same here and th th that will help actually to change this equation into the constant coefficients here because all these x d and x square d square which we will see now uh, that will be also converted into d 1 form and without presence of this new independent variable z. So, we will convert the whole equation to this constant coefficient equation. So, now coming back to the second order term how this will look like when uh, converted to the z independent variable. So, d 2 y over d x means d over d x of this 1 over x d y d z term because this was d y d x. So, d of d x of d y over d x and d y over d x was 1 over x d uh, y over d z. So, we can uh, use this product rule here. So, the 1 over x the derivative will be minus 1 over x square and then this d y over d z will remain as it is plus this 1 over x. Now, we will uh, differentiate this one d y over d z with respect to x. So, that will give the d over d x of d y over d z. So, this operation here will be then uh, minus 1 over x square d y over d z and 1 over x as it is. So, the square will come because of this now here. So, d over uh, d x of this d y over d z will be. So, this operation here will be uh, d 2 y over d z 2 and d z over d x as the case we have done before also when we are taking the derivative here d y over d z d z over d x. So, here as well. So, the derivative of this d y over d z with respect to z and then d z over d x and d z over d x is nothing but that is 1 over x. So, here the result of this will be 1 over x into d 2 y over uh, d z square. So, therefore, we got this 1 over x square and d 2 y over d z square. So, uh, what are we getting here this x square when we multiply this x square to each term we are getting x square d 2 y over d x square the right hand side will be then d 2 y over d z square minus d y over uh, d z. And now, if we write in this operator form we have x square the d square term there and then here the d 1 square and then minus d 1 x square d square is equal to d 1 square from here and d 1 from here which we can again write down this term as this term is written as d 1 uh, into uh, d 1 minus 1. So, when we have x square d square it is converted to d 1 d 1 minus 1 when we have x d this is converted to simply d 1. And now, if we continue this process what we will get. So, in the general uh, forms uh, we can now write introducing these operator here d 1 into, uh, implies the d over d x and uh, d implies d over d x and d 1 d over d z. So, this x square d square we have seen that d 1 d 1 minus 1 when we compute x cube d cube what will come uh, d 1 and multiplied by d 1 minus 1 and d 1 minus 2. If we continue this process in general what we are getting x power n d n is d 1 d 1 minus 1 d 1 minus 2 and it will go up to d 1 minus and n minus 1. Yeah. So, here when we have power 3 we are going, going up to 2 here we have power n we will be going up to n minus 1. So, this is d 1 minus uh, n minus 1 which is written here minus n plus 1. So, these are the general forms and uh, we already remember that this x d was d 1. So, we have x d is equal to d 1 x square d square d 1 d 1 minus 1 x 3 d 3 d 1 d 1 minus 1 and d 1 minus 2. So, once we know that how this uh, uh, d operator will be change to this d 1 operator the d 1 is with respect to z where d is with respect to x. 
then what we will realize that our original equation will be converted to this uh, linear equation with constant coefficient. Meaning, if we have this f d y is equal to x equation with that substitution, uh, we will get this uh, some function of d 1 y is equal to z and this g d 1 will be uh, free from this z meaning th there will be constant coefficients only in this equation and we know how to solve a equation with constant coefficient. So, let us just go through this example to demonstrate this idea we have the general solution uh, we want to get the general solution of this x square d square minus x d plus 2 y is equal to this x ln x equation. So, we will make this substitution x is equal to uh, e power z or z is equal to logarithmic of x then we know already that if we have this d 1 as d over d z then this our equation here will be converted because this x square d square term. So, x square d square term will be taken as d 1 d 1 minus 1 the x d term will be replaced by d 1 and plus this 2 operated on y is equal to the x here is e power z x here is e power uh, z. So, this is uh, given here and then ln x. So, from here what we have we have the ln x is equal to z. So, this ln x will be replaced by z and this x will be replaced by e power z. So, that will be the right hand side here z into e power z and this operator here with x square d square we have now the new operator d 1 d 1 minus 1 and with this x d we have this d 1 and plus 2. So, our new equation which is in terms of the z now is given here and now we can simplify this. So, it is a d 1 square minus uh, d 1 and this minus d 1. So, minus 2 times d 1 and this plus 2 operated on y and this uh, gives us z into e power uh, z. So, this equation now is with constant coefficients. So, if we uh, look the coefficients here is 1 here is minus 2 it is 2. So, all the coefficients here are constant whereas, this in original equation the co coefficients were not constant. So, that is the benefit of such transformation that this equation is reduced now to a equation with constant coefficients which are easy to uh, which, which is easy to solve now. So, the complementary function for this equation because we need to write down the auxiliary equation that will be m is square minus 2 m and plus 2 is equal to 0. So, we have uh, this equation here. So, the roots will be uh, minus plus minus in the root b square minus 4 a c and divided by 2 times a. So, we have 2 plus minus this is 4 minus 8. So, minus 4 divided by 2. So, we have 1 plus minus this will be 2 i. So, 2 2 get cancelled and we have 1 plus minus i. So, the roots of the auxiliary equation corresponding to this differential equation we have 1 plus minus i and that we know uh, how to write down the solution. So, this will be e power now not x our independent variable is z. So, this will be e power z and then c 1 cos uh, z plus c 2 uh, sin z e power z c 1 cos z and plus this c 2 z, uh, z that is the uh, complementary function of this uh, equation or rather to say the general solution of the homogeneous equation meaning that right hand side is set to 0. So, here this complementary function we have to write down back to the original uh, variables. So, here e power z will be replaced by x c 1 cos the z was the logarithmic of x. So, cos of ln x plus c 2 sin of ln x and the p i the particular integral will be 1 over this d 1 square minus 2 d 1 plus 2 this particular integral on this z e power z will take us now uh, to this uh, result here because z e power z the formula which we have already uh, discussed in the previous lecture z into uh, e power z into some function of, of z. So, this e power z we can take we can bring to the left hand side and then 
as a result this d 1 will be replaced by this d 1 plus 1. So, that is what we have done here e power z we have taken out of this operator and this d 1 is replaced by d 1 plus 1 d 1 plus 1. So, that was the direct formula which was discussed already in the previous lecture and now we need to only apply this on this uh, z here. So, let us simplify by this one first. So, d 1 is square and then we will get here 2 d 1 here also we have minus 2 d 1 that will be cancelled out. Here we have 1 and uh, 2 here. So, 3 and minus 2. So, there will be plus 1 there. So, d 1 is square and plus 1 operated on this uh, z there. So, e power z and then we can uh, bring into the numerator with this uh, minus 1 uh, which now we can expand it and then we can apply this operator on z. So, here the power of the z is 1. So, we do not have to write down many terms because d 1 when we expand this one here what we will get 1 and minus this d 1 is square and plus those higher order terms. Indeed, this d 1 the 2 times uh, when we apply on this z that will uh, set it to 0 and also the higher order terms will make this z to 0. So, we will get basically only this z uh, the result of this operation here. So, this is uh, just the z here in e power z. So, that is the answer that is a particular integral uh, to this uh, uh, equation to this uh, uh, equation with, with, with a constant coefficient. So, what we are getting now this particular integral we have to also write down back to in the x form uh, and this e power z was x and this z was the ln x. So, we, our answer is this x ln x the particular integral and this is uh, one one particular solution of the given of the given equation and we have the the complementary function we have this particular integral if we add these two we will get the general solution of the given differential equation so general solution is given by this y is equal to the complementary function which is given here x c1 cos ln x plus c2 sin ln x and plus this particular integral which is x ln x. So, this will satisfy our given equation it has these two constants two arbitrary constants. So, this serves as a general solution of the given uh, non homogeneous equation with non constant coefficients or the Cauchy Euler equation. Now, here we will be talking about the idea that there are some equations which can uh, be reduced to this uh, Cauchy Euler form and then we know how to solve the Cauchy Euler form. So, for instance this type of equation when we have a plus b x power n here also a plus b x power n minus 1 and so on. So, these are the coefficients now in the Cauchy equations we have just these x power and n or x power n minus 1 uh, etcetera, but in this case we have a plus b x here also we have a plus b x form. So, we need to substitute this a plus b x as a new variable v here. So, if we do that a plus b x is equal to v with this substitution our equation will be converted to this Cauchy Euler equation and we know how to solve uh, Cauchy Euler equation. So, with this change when we make uh, such a substitution a plus b x is equal to v with our d y over d x will be written as d y over d v and d v over d x. So, what is d v over d x that is nothing but b here. So, d y over d x d y over d x in terms of d y over d v with this factor b there. And if we continue this if we take d 2 y over d x 2 that will be coming just simply again this one more b. So, that will be b square when we compute the third derivative this will be b cube with d y over d v uh, and this can be continued for any other derivative meaning that the nth order derivative also we can compute and this b power n will come out and then we will have uh, d n y over d v n. So, now if we substitute this into this uh, equation. So, what will happen here this will be having this v power n and then d n uh, y over d x n will be this b power n and d n uh, y over d 
v n the second term will be a 1 and here we will have v power n minus 1 and this will be converted again the n th minus 1 th order derivative from here. So, the b n minus 1 will come and d n minus 1 y over d x n minus 1 and this will be continued uh, for this a n minus 1 a plus b x is v here and d y over d x is this b d y over d v and this a n a n y uh, will be equal to this x and x is a function of uh, this x here, but that will be converted again this x will be uh, set to to this form of v. So, some function of this v will come instead of the right hand side x. So, when we convert this what are we getting here? So, by changing that by dividing this right hand side by this uh, b n by dividing the whole equation by this b n. So, the right hand side become this x which again we have to substitute whatever x is given there in terms of v there and it will be divided by this uh, b n and then the left hand side here v n and d n y over d v n here we will get this a 1 over over b here because there was a term b n minus 1 and when we are dividing by this b n. So, one will be survive in the denominator here the n minus 1 th order term and so on. So, this right hand side again this is uh, the may be a new x here which is a function of of v because this uh, was x was a function of x, but now x is replaced in terms of v. So, we will get also uh, this function of v the right hand side, but what we realize now that this equation is, is exactly the same equation which we have discussed before this a Cauchy Euler equation. So, the coefficient here with nth order term is v power n with n minus 1 order term we have this n minus 1 and here we have v. So, this is uh, the Cauchy Euler equation which we know that how to solve by this substitution. And now uh, to demonstrate this let us go through this example. So, we take this 1 plus x whole square and the uh, second order derivative plus this 1 plus x the first order derivative plus y is equal to 4 the cos here with this cos of the log 1 plus x. And now, uh, if we substitute this 1 plus x here uh, as v I mean whatever given here 1 plus. So, in general a, a x plus b term here. So, we have taken this 1 plus x is equal to v this substitution we have made here and that will convert now d y over d x is equal to d y over d v and d v over d x. So, this d y over d v and d v over d x from this equation is 1, because when we uh, compute this d v over d x that is just 1. So, that is what here the 1 is coming. So, what relation we have the d y over d x will be replaced by d y over d v there is no factor coming because of this 1 plus x. <clears throat> and then the second order derivative when we compute. So, d 2 y over d x 2 again because the, the factor of this x was 1. So, we will get no change, but we will get just the second order derivative with respect to v. And if we substitute this in the given equation, then we will get v square here and d 2 y over d v square plus the v term and d y over d v plus this y and the right hand side we have 4 times the cos and ln of v. So, now this equation here is exactly the equation discussed this Cauchy Euler form. So, this is uh, Cauchy Euler form or Cauchy Euler equation which we have uh, solved just before by the appropriate substitution of, of this independent variable to a new independent variable. So, we will do uh, now exactly the same. So, we will substitute here this v the independent variable uh, in the form of uh, exponential z. And then by doing this substitution and assuming this d 1 now a new operator in terms of this d over d z 
our operator d here is d over d v, the new operator d 1 will be d over d z. So, with that change of this variable what will happen this v square d 2 y over d v square or v square the d square because this we can uh, write down in terms of the d if we define the operator d as uh, d over d v now because our uh, differential operator is written in terms of v then this equation will be like v square d square plus this v d and plus this one operated on y the right hand side is 4 cos ln v. So, this v square d square will be uh, replaced with the d 1 d 1 minus 1 and this v d with this uh, substitution v is equal to x e power z this will be replaced with the d 1 and then this is 1 here y is equal to the 4 times the cos and the ln v because v is equal to uh, e power z. So, here the ln v is z. So, this ln v the logarithmic of v is replaced by the z here. So, our new equation now becomes d 1 square d 1 square minus uh, d 1 then we have plus this d 1 and we have plus 1 here operated on y is equal to 4 times this cos z and d 1 d 1 gets cancelled and we have d 1 square plus 1 operated on this y is equal to 4 times cos z. So, that is a new equation now and uh, d 1 square plus y uh, plus 1 y uh, is equal to uh, 4 times the cos z. So, the complementary function for this because the auxiliary equation uh, will be m square plus 1 is equal to 0 that is m is equal to plus minus i. So, with this auxiliary equation we can write down the solution in terms of z that c 1 because e power this is 0 here e power 0 will be 1. So, we have c 1 cos z plus c 2 sin z that is the complementary function and then this uh, z here must be replaced back to the original variable. So, z was ln v. So, we have the ln v for 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 z and this v was also 1 plus x in the earlier substitution. So, we have to get back to the x. So, this will be the complementary function will be c 1 cos this ln of 1 plus x c 2 sin ln 1 plus x and the particular integral uh, which is 1 over this d 1 square plus 1 uh, operated on this uh, 4 times this cos z. So, this 4 we can uh, bring out here and then this cos z this is the formula which was also also derived there when we substitute this uh, d 1 square minus 1. So, this is becoming 0 and then uh, we have derived that will be this the z over 2 and uh, cos will be just the sign there. So, z over 2 a and 2 a here is, is just 1. So, z by 2 and sin z that will be the the result of uh, this operation 1 over d 1 square plus 1 on cos z that will give z by 2 and sin z. So, this 2 gets cancelled we have 2 z and sin z the particular integral uh, of this equation 2 z into sin z which again we have to get back to uh, v and then x. So, 2 times this ln v and sin ln v and uh, in terms of x we have v was substituted for this 1 plus x. So, we have to replace this v for 1 plus x. So, finally, the particular integral is 2 times ln 1 plus x and sin ln 1 plus x and now the general solution we can write down we can add the complementary function into this uh, particular integral and this will be the general solution of the given differential equation which was first converted to the Cauchy Euler form and then the Cauchy Euler equation was changed to the linear equation with constant coefficient and that uh, we know how to solve uh, with the help of this complementary function and the particular integral. Coming to the conclusion here, so we have discussed today the Euler Cauchy equations and that is a special form of the equation in terms of the coefficients here x power n x power n minus 1 with the n minus 1 and derivative and, and so on 
and uh, we have also discussed the equations reducible to Cauchy Euler form and in particular we have uh, taken this form where instead of this x power n we have a plus b x power n, but the idea was simple that if we substitute this a plus b x as a new variable then this equation can be reduced to this Cauchy Euler equation and then again one more substitution will lead to the uh, differential equation a linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So, these are the references uh, we have used to prepare uh, these lectures and thank you for your attention.